Good morning, students. How are you all? I hope you all are fit and fine and practicing well for maths. So today in this session two, I am going to explain you some more thing about fraction. But before we proceed for session two, let's revise session one. In previous session one, we have completed introduction of fraction, marking of fraction on the number line, proper fraction, improper fraction, mixed fraction. conversion of improper fraction into mixed fraction conversion of mixed fraction into improper fraction so student you understood all the exercises which we are discussed in session 1 so today in session 2 i will explain you some more things about fraction so let's get start in this session 2 we will study about equivalent fraction how to get equivalent fractions simplest form of a fraction the shortest way to get simple form of a fraction what is like fraction and unlike fractions comparing fractions comparing like and unlike fractions why lcm is required in fractions for equivalent fractions look at all this representation of fraction in this figure fractions are 1 by 2 2 by 4 3 by 6 representing the parts taken from the total number of parts if we place the pictorial representation of one over the other they are found to be equal these fractions are called equivalent fractions in equivalent fraction 1 by 2 2 by 4 3 by 6 and so on are all equivalent fractions they represents the same part of a whole to find an equivalent fractions of a given fraction you may multiply both the numerator and the denominator of the given fraction by the same number for the equivalent fraction of 1 by 3 1 by 3 we multiply by 2 we got answer 2 by 6 1 by 3 we multiply by 3 we got answer 3 by 9 1 by 3 we multiply by 4 we got answer 4 by 12 so the equivalent fractions of 1 by 3 are 2 by 6 3 by 9 4 by 12 and many more is there any other way to obtain equivalent fraction in first figure out of 6 triangle four triangles are shaded in second figure out of three boxes two boxes are shaded this include equal number of shaded things 4 by 6 equal to 2 by 3 are equivalent fractions to obtain an equivalent fraction we may divide both the numerator and the denominator by the same number like equivalent fractions of 12 by 15 here 12 by 15 we dividing by 3 and we got answer 4 by 5 so we can say that equivalent fractions of 12 by 15 is 4 by 5 to understand equivalent fraction in a better way Let's take some example. Find the equivalent fraction of 2 by 5 with numerator 6. We know that 2 into 3 is equal to 6. This means we need to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 3 to get equivalent fraction. Hence, 2 by 5 we multiply by 3 and we got the answer 6 by 15. So. the equivalent fraction of 2 by 5 with numerator 6 is 6 by 15 in this example we will find the equivalent fraction of 15 by 35 with denominator 7 we have 15 by 35 we observe that the denominator 35 divided by 5 equal to 7 therefore we divide both the numerator and the denominator by 5 hence 15 by 35 divided by 5 equal to 3 by 7 so the equivalent fraction of 15 by 35 with denominator 7 is 3 by 7 so student now i will explain you about simplest form of a fraction what is simplest form of a fraction a fraction is said to be in the simplest or lowest form of its numerator and denominator have no common factor except 1 let us try to get an equivalent fraction in which the numerator and the denominator have no common factor except 
so now student let's find the simplest form of the fraction 36 by 54 we see that both 36 and 54 are divisible by 2 after dividing 36 by 54 we got 18 by 27 but 18 and 27 also have common factor other than 1 the common factors of 18 and 27 are 1 3 and 9 the highest common factor is 9 therefore 18 by 27 dividing by 9 the highest common factor of 18 and 27 we got 2 by 3 now 2 and 3 have no common factor except 1 so we can say that 2 by 3 is the simplest form of 36 by 54 so now student i will explain you the shortest way to find simplest form to find the simplest form of fraction find the hcf of the numerator and the denominator of given fraction and then divide them both by their hcf to understand in a better let's find the simplest form of 36 by 24 the hcf of 36 and 24 is 12 therefore Divide 36 and 24 by 12. We got answer 3 by 2. So we can say that the fraction 3 by 2 is in the lowest form of 36 by 24. Now student, let's solve the exercise 7.3. Write the fraction. Are all these fractions are equivalent? Observe the figure very carefully and give the answers of these questions. So student, here is the answer of first question. In first figure, shaded portion is 1 by 2. In second figure, the shaded portion is 2 by 4 and its simplest form is 1 by 2. In third figure, the shaded portion is 3 by 6 and its simplest form is 1 by 2. In fourth figure, the shaded portion is 4 by 8 and its simplest form is 1 by 2. Here, the value of all the fractions are equal. So, we can say all fractions are equivalent. Student, do you know what is like fraction and unlike fractions? Fractions with the same denominators are called like fractions. For example, 1 by 15, 2 by 15, 3 by 15, 8 by 15 are all like fractions. Are 7 by 12 and 7 by 28 like fractions? No, the denominators are different. Therefore, they are not like fractions. They are called unlike fractions. So student, now I will explain you comparing fractions. Sony has 3 integer 1 by 2 rotis in her plate. And Rita has 2 integer 3 by 4 rotis in her plate. Who has more rotis in her plate? Clearly, Sony has 3 full rotis and more and Rita has less than 3 rotis. So, Sony has more rotis. Let's take one more example. Consider 1 by 2 and 1 by 3 as shown in figure. The portion of the whole corresponding to 1 by 2 is clearly larger than the portion of the same whole corresponding to 1 by 3. So 1 by 2 is greater than 1 by 3. But often it is not easy to say which one out of a pair of fraction is larger. For example, which is greater 1 by 4 or 3 by 10. For this we may wish to show the fraction using figures. But to draw figures may not be easy especially with large denominators. We should therefore like to have a systematic procedure to compare fractions. It is particularly easy to compare like fractions. Now student, I will explain you comparing like fractions. Let us compare two like fractions, 3 by 8 and 5 by 8. For 3 by 8 and 5 by 8, we take 3 and 5 part respectively after the 8 equal parts. The portion corresponding to 5 parts is larger than the portion corresponding to 3 parts. Hence, we can say 
pi by 8 is greater than 3 by 8 so student it is clear that for two fractions with the same denominator the fraction with the greater numerator is greater between 4 by 5 and 3 by 5 4 by 5 is greater likewise same in 11 by 20 and 13 by 20 13 by 20 is greater now student i will explain you comparison of unlike fractions two fractions are unlike if they have different denominators for example 1 by 3 and 1 by 5 are unlike fraction in which the numerator is same but the denominator is not same let's understand it with example which is greater 1 by 3 or 1 by 5 in 1 by 3 we divide the whole into three equal parts and take one in 1 by 5 we divide the whole into five equal parts and take one the equal part that we get in 1 by 3 is larger than the equal part we get in 1 by 5 since in both cases we take the same number of part 1 the portion of the whole showing 1 by 3 is larger than the portion showing 1 by 5 so we can say 1 by 3 is greater than 1 by 5 so now student i will explain you how to compare such fraction in which the numerator and denominators are not same suppose we want to compare 2 by 3 and 3 by 4 their numerators and denominators are different we know how to compare like fractions fractions with the same denominator we should try to change the denominators of the given fraction so that they become equal for this purpose we can use the method of equivalent fraction which we already know using this method we can change the denominator of a fraction without changing its value Let us find equivalent fractions of 2 by 3 and 3 by 4. Equivalent fractions of 2 by 3 are 4 by 6, 6 by 9, 8 by 12, 10 by 15, and so on. Similarly, equivalent fractions of 3 by 4 are 6 by 8, 9 by 12, 12 by 16, and so on. The equivalent fractions of 2 by 3 and 3 by 4 with the same denominator 12 are 8 by 12 and 9 by 12 respectively 2 by 3 equal to 8 by 12 and 3 by 4 equal to 9 by 12 since 9 by 12 is greater than 8 by 12 so we can say 3 by 4 is greater than 2 by 3 so now student i will explain you why lcm is required the product of 6 and 15 is 90 obviously 90 is also common multiple of 6 and 15 we may use 90 instead of 30 it will not be wrong but we know that it is easier and more convenient to work with smaller numbers so the common multiple that we take is as small as possible this is why the lcm of the denominator of the fractions is preferred as the common denominator i hope you understand the points which we have discussed in today's session thank you